Hi everyone, my name is Maria Lemos and the person that I chose to do my presentation on is Dolly Parton. She's a country singer, songwriter, actress, businesswoman, and her favorite title, The Book Lady. Dolly Parton was born January 19, 1946 in La Custe Ridge, Tennessee. She was raised in a rural area with both of her parents and her family struggled financially. They always had a difficult time with money. She was one of 12 children and she was exposed to music through her mother who sang and also played the guitar. When she was young, she started performing at, the, at her church. And as she got older, by the age of 10, she was getting gigs at local TV stations and also radio stations. After graduation, Dolly told her graduating class that she was going off to Nashville, Tennessee to pursue her music career. A lot of them laughed and didn't believe her, but she persisted and she continued. Dolly Parton is one of the most successful country singers of our time. According to Billboard, she has had 25 number one hits and 54 top 10 hits. Dolly has starred in many movies over the years, acting alongside Jane Fonda, Burt Reynolds, and even Julia Roberts, just to name a few. Most recently, she produced a Netflix series called Heartstrings. Dollywood is a theme park that Dolly Parton opened in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee in 1986. What makes Dollywood unique is that there are multiple historic aspects to it. You can visit a replica of the house that she grew up in, which is a tiny mountain house that had no electricity and no running water. And there's also the Chasing Rainbows Museum, where visitors can go in and see artifacts and memorabilia from Dolly Parton's career. A 2010 interview celebrating Dollywood's 25th anniversary, Dolly Parton said, I always thought that if I made it big or got successful at what I had started out to do, that I would come back to my part of the country and do something great, something that would bring a lot of jobs to the area. And that's exactly what she did because Dollywood Theme Park is the number one employer for her county of Sevier County. In 2016, when wildfires struck Tennessee, Dolly Parton pledged to give $1,000 a month for six months to the families who had lost their homes. She said, we want to provide a hand to all those families who have lost everything in these fires. And to help them recover, we want to make sure that the Dollywood Foundation gives these families $1,000 a month to those who have lost their homes until they can get back on their feet. I know that it's a trying time and for my people, this assistance will definitely help out. Now, this is my favorite part. This is how I fell in love with Dolly Parton herself. It is the imagination library that she created. Some of Dolly Parton's most recent work focuses on giving back to the people around the world through the Imagination Library. This amazing program gives free high quality books to children all over the world from birth up until age five. The mission of the program is to inspire the love of reading. She said, I created the Imagination Library as a tribute to my daddy. He was the smartest man that I knew, but in my heart, I knew that his inability to read probably kept him from fulfilling all of his dreams. This program allows families from all different backgrounds, regardless of their income, to receive free books. The books selected to be given to the children focus on the love of reading and learning, also regard for diversity for people, their culture, their roles, and the environment. They promote self-esteem and confidence, appreciation of art, and aesthetics. On March 30th, 2020, Dolly Parton started Good Night with Dolly. And this is where she reads a virtual bedtime story to children all around the world. This is a small clip of a documentary that will be coming out in the fall of this year on Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. If something is yours, you're gonna take pride in it. Of all the things that I've done in my life, this is one of the most precious things. The idea behind the program is to gift a book each month from the day they're born until the month that they turn five. We just started this in my home county here in Sevier County, and we thought, well, maybe if we're lucky, it might go a couple of counties over. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living. We currently have about 20,800 children in Knox County that are registered for Imagination Library. Every neighborhood I'm in in D.C., families know about this program grandparents know about this program, it is just uh, it's a game changer. If you're lucky and fortunate enough to be in a position to help, you should help. Are we proud of Dolly? The understatement of the year is yes. Are we grateful to her? Another understatement, yes. Do we expect more from her in the future? Absolutely.
Dolly Parton is a symbol of how you can have a great combination of talent, worldwide recognition, but also give back and give to. The Imagination Library Program was launched in 1995 in Sevier County. In 2003, Dolly Parton, Dolly Parton's Imagination Library had mailed over 1 million books. The Imagination Library is now in the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, and most recently, the Republic of Ireland, and also Canada. In 2011, audio and braille books were added to the program list. In 2016, Imagination Library started mailing out 1 million books every single month. The program has received the Best Practices Award from the Library of Congress Literacy Awards and also recognition in the reading psychology. This picture right here is my kid's personal little library from Dolly Parton. These are all the books that we have received over the years from her Imagination Library program. That concludes my presentation on Dolly Parton. I hope you all learned something new and I hope you can see why I picked her for this presentation. She has a really big heart. She wants to give back. She wants to make a difference in the world and I feel like she's doing just that. She's taken her fame, her money that she's made and she's putting it back to the places where people can grow and benefit from it. And I really appreciate that and aspire to follow in her footsteps one day.